What's up guys, Clark Shaw here, Six Pack Shortcuts, and I want to talk about healthy snacks. So obviously, I'm assuming you guys are already on a healthy eating meal plan, but sometimes you just want to have a little snack between your meals. So what is okay to have as a healthy snack? Um, there are a few healthy snacks here. I've got some notes. Um, figs. This exotic fruit is an excellent source of fiber. It helps keep you full longer. Uh, yeah, good, but uh, me personally, I don't really like to consume a lot of fruits. Why? Because sugar is sugar, regardless. I mean, fruits are good in a sense that they have a lot of antioxidants, fiber, but they still contain sugar. And if you want that lean chisel physique, you want to keep your sugar to a minimal. So here is another fruit, grapefruit. It's good to help uh, slightly lower your insulin in your body. Good. So if you have a sweet tooth, then use fruit as like, consider it nature's healthy dessert and use fruits to replace other types of sweets. But I wouldn't do it too often. My favorite snacks are actually uh, healthy fats like avocado or uh, nuts, almonds, pistachios, uh, walnuts. Those are all great for snacking. Uh, they're going to have higher fat content in it and it's going to keep you fuller longer but the fat is good fats actually. Of course to keeping it in a uh, uh, right portion right so you're not going to go and eat the whole jar full of nuts you're just going to have a little handful there. Uh, you're not going to scarf down two or three avocados at one time it's just you're just gonna have a slice or two so that's what I personally do for snacks is I snack on healthy fats which is avocados and nuts um, fat-free cottage cheese or uh, non-fat Greek yogurt plain unflavored those are great sources of protein you can have those as well and last but not least it says here healthy snacks hot peppers uh, I, I don't just sit there and chew on peppers all day but uh, I guess if you wanted to you could. Now the benefit of peppers is that it's a natural thermogenic which means that when you consume the spices it raises your body temperature. When it raises your body temperature what that does is it's slightly increasing your metabolism which means you are going to burn more calories. Uh, for those of you who can't eat spicy stuff Meaning, you know, uh, if you wanted to get that effect, you would just throw some kind of pepper on your food or something like that every time you eat. Uh, but if you can get the same effect. They actually have supplements where they have capsaicin in them, which is the main ingredient that will help to raise your body temperature. And they're just little capsules that you can swallow so you don't have to have your mouth on fire or anything like that. Uh, that's if you wanted to get that effect. So that's another option that you have. So there you have it, guys. Uh, healthy snacking. You got fruits, dried fruits, figs, grapefruits, me personally, I like avocados and nuts, and uh, spicy stuff helps to raise your metabolism slightly, so you can do that as well. Until next time guys, if you want to see more tips and advice on anything fitness related, workouts, snacking, my, my name is Clark Shao, see you guys next time.